you've talked a little about uh, inducing immunological tolerance. Mm. Um, is that something that could help with tolerance to transplanted organs or to other things? Mm. Well, we've actually produced these populations of dendritic cells from uh, induced pluripotent stem cells. And dendritic cells are quite critical in the immune system because they are the all important balance between tolerance on the one hand and immunity on the other. So the same cell type makes the decision as to whether to induce an immune response or to induce tolerance to a particular antigen. And so those dendritic cells could be very beneficial for the induction of tolerance. Um, the problem is that trying to induce tolerance to whole organ transplants is exceptionally difficult to do. And the actual immunological barriers are so great that it's unlikely that we'd be able to do that just using dendritic cells alone. But those cells could be very beneficial for the treatment of uh, many other disease states, particularly where we need to induce tolerance to just a single protein antigen. Um, diseases like the lysosomal storage diseases are actually caused by um, a particular missing enzyme in the lysosomal pathway. And without that enzyme, a particular waste product simply builds up and is never disposed of properly. And because of that, people get extremely sick. And many of these disease states uh, uh, affect the neonate, in fact. So these children will live for just a, a year or two and, and live really horrible lives. The thing is that you can actually treat a lot of these disease states simply by delivering the missing enzyme to these children. But they mount a huge immune response against it because for them it's a foreign antigen. They've never expressed that protein themselves. And so they view it as though it were a foreign protein and mount an immune response to it. So under those circumstances, we might want to use those dendritic cells I mentioned to try and induce tolerance to that one protein antigen so that in fact uh, they don't respond to it and we can now cure the disease by simply enzyme replacement therapy.